My name is Ayaka Hirano. I am very happy to be able to talk to you today. I would like to talk about the split of prototype voice stop consonants in Nu of Chandin district, Lansong province, Vietnam. Uh, before we get to the main subject, I would like to talk about the background of Chandin Nu, which is a target of this presentation. The Nu language is spoken by the Nu people who live in the northeast of Vietnam. Uh, Chandin district is in Lansong province, Vietnam, as shown in this uh, picture. Uh, this is the northern part of Vietnam, and here is, uh, La is Lansong province. And here is the Chandin district. And, uh, the Nu language belongs to Central Thai group uh, of Thai languages. The Nu people have several groups, and their names correspond uh, to uh, with the ori their original homelands in China. Um, more than ninety percent of Nu in Chandin district are Nu Chao. Uh, whose ancestors uh, had migrated from Longchao in China. Uh, modern, uh, most modern, tri uh, mo modern tri varieties uh, can be classified into three types uh, from the perspective of how to prototype a voice stop I, uh, change. Uh, type 1 and the prototype voice stops uh, became uh, simple uh, voice stops. Uh, type two, uh, they uh, became aspirated stops. And type three, uh, they were retained as voice stops. A uh, few modern uh, Thai varieties uh, belong to type three. That is, uh, prototype voiced stops are devoiced in most modern Thai varieties. And one prototype uh, voiced stop became one consonant in most modern Thai varieties. Uh, for example, uh, prototype uh, ba became pa or pa. In Chandin Nu, however, the prototype voiced stop uh, split into two consonants. Uh, for example, uh, ba split into pa and pa. This presentation in intended to show how these phenomena are related to tone. And this table shows the consonants of Chandin Nu. And we can see that uh, Chandin Nu also lost prototype voice to stops, like most Thai varieties. And this table shows the patterns of tonal development of Chandin Nu. Chandin Nu has six tones, uh, one uh, middle level, ma, uh, two, falling, ma, and three, rising, ma, four, low level, ma, uh, five, low rising, ma, ma, and the sixth grotrized ma. And prototype D tone uh, does not split according to a vowel length in Chandin Nu. Now let us see how prototype consonants changed in Chandin Nu. This table shows the reflexes in Chandin Nu. Uh, one uh, prototype consonant uh, corresponds to one consonant such as uh, prototype pa corresponds to uh, pa in Chandin Nu. However, uh, prototype ba, da, ya, ga, and ga uh, have two reflexes. Uh, I will explain the relationship between this split and the tone by comparing etima. Uh, to show that uh, one into two split phenomenon in Chandin Nu is not common in Nu varieties, uh, I will cite etima uh, in Western Nu from Gedonis word list. So uh, now we will take a quick look at the consonants and the tones of Western Nu. This table shows the consonants of Western Nu, and the voiceless stops uh, ba and da uh, correspond to uh, prototype impulsives uh, ba and da respectively. 
So、uh, we can see that、uh, Western Nu also lost prototype、uh, voice stops. And this is a tonal split of Western Nu, which is more complex than that of Chandin Nu in the S and D tones. Now、uh, let's move on to comparing Etima. This table shows Etima with prototype Ba. I would like you to listen、uh, some Etima、uh, in Chandin Nu.、Uh, left has A tone, and this、uh, word in Chandin Nu is Be. The, inf the informant pronounces twice. Be. Be. Next,、uh, the Elder sibling.、Uh, elder sibling has the B tone, and this、uh, word in Chandin Nu is P. He pronounces、uh, P no. And、uh, no means、uh, younger sibling. P no. P no. Okay, as you can see,、uh, prototype Ba without B tone is realized as Ba and the Ba with B tone is realized as Pa in Chandin Nu. In Western Nu, on the other hand,、uh, prototype Ba is realized as Pa regardless of tone. Next,、uh, this table shows Etima、uh, with prototype Da. I would like you to listen to Landrich and、uh, River.、Uh, Landrich has D tone, and this word in Chandin Nu is Da. He pronounces、uh, Du Da. Du means、uh, crossfire、uh, for animals. Du Da. Du Da.、Okay. And river has B tone, and this word in Chandin Nu is Ta. 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 Uh, as you can see, uh, prototype uh, da without B tone is realized as da, and da with B tone is realized as ta in Chandin Nu.、Uh, in Western Nu, on the other hand,、uh, prototype da is realized as、uh, ta regardless, regardless of tone. And this table shows the etima with prototype da. Uh, I would like you to listen to taste and to weigh.、Uh, to taste、uh, has the A tone, and this word in Chandin Nu is Jim. 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 And、uh, to weigh has the B tone, and this word in Chandin Nu is Sang. 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 And as you can see,、uh, prototype da without B tone is realized as da, and da with B tone is realized as sa in Chandin Nu.、Uh, in Western Nu, on the other hand,、uh, prototype da da is realized as、uh, si da regardless of tone.、Uh, next, this table shows Etima with prototype ga. I would like you to listen to、uh, stink bug and pear in Chandin Nu.、Uh, stink bug、uh, has the A tone, and this word in Chandin Nu is ken. And he pronounces tu、uh, men ken. Tu men ken. Tu means、uh, grass fire for animals, and men means insects. Men ken. Two men can. Two men can. And pear has the B tone, and this word in Chandin Nu is ku. I apologize that the、uh, sound quality of this word is not so good. And、um, he pronounces a ku kai, ku kai,、uh, which means a pair of shoes. Ku kai. 
as you can see, a uh, prototype ga without beaton is realized as ga, and uh, ga with beaton is uh, realized as uh, ku ka in Chandin Nun. Uh, Gedoni's word list has only 80 ma pair, uh, but perhaps a uh, prototype ga is realized as ka a uh, ga uh, regardless of tone in Western Nun. Next, this table shows the etima with prototype ga. Uh, I would like you to listen to neck and night in Chandin Nun. Neck has a tone, and this word in Chandin Nun is go. 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 And night has the b tone, and this word uh, in Chandin Nun is kam. Kam. Uh, as you can see, a uh, prototype ga without beaton is realized as ga, and uh, uh, ga with beaton is realized as ka in Chandin Nun. In Western Nun, on the other hand, uh, ga is realized as ha regardless of tone. Okay, so this is a summary of this of the split of prototype voiced consonants in Chandin Nun. Um, prototype voiced stops uh, without beaton is realized as simple voiceless consonants, and uh, prototype voiced stops uh, with beaton is re are realized as aspirated in Chandin Nun. And regarding uh, prototype ga, uh, it is realized as cha uh, without beaton and uh, sa with beaton. And uh, regarding ga, uh, it is split into ga and ka, such as uh, ga. So uh, we can expect that uh, ga, uh, ga merged into ga. After that, it split into ga and uh, ka. Uh, so why have uh, voiced the sounds with the beaton changed into aspirated sounds in Chandin Nun. And this may be an important question for the Thai languages. Uh, we can find a similar split in modern Beijing Mandarin. Uh, Middle Chinese has the uh, pinsum de pusum phenomenon. Uh, it means that Middle Chinese voice stops with level tone. Uh, beca become devoiced and aspirated. And whereas the same initials in other tone categories are reflected as unaspirated in modern Beijing Mandarin. For example, in Middle Chinese, uh, these two characters uh, have the voice top da, and this character uh, has the level tone, and this character has the departing tone. In modern Mandarin, uh, the, this character uh, is T, and this character, uh, so uh, that is uh, the realized as Ta. On the other hand, this character uh, is T, that is, the is realized as Ta. Uh, this split uh, in Mandarin uh, may be because of the uh, pitch height. Uh, it is very really difficult to uh, describe the pitch height of each tone in uh, Middle Chinese concretely, but some scholars uh, have pointed out of the, uh, the level tone in Middle Chinese was low, low based on historical documents. Uh, Chen and uh, 2000. 15 indicates the tendency of voice stops uh, to cause breathy voice and relationship between breathiness and low tone height. That is, we can say that the uh, level tone in Middle Chinese preserved the breathiness of voice initials because level tone was low. So what was the uh, prototype B tone like? And though not all scholars have 
authorized uh, prototype as the tone, tone language. Uh, some scholars uh, suggest that prototype u e prototype used a pitch uh, for tonal consonant uh, contrast. Uh, for example, uh, Peter Yapon, uh, two thousand nine, argues that the pitch height of the B tone is low. On the other hand, Liao, two thousand sixteen, argues that the earlier stage of prototype had non-tonal structures. And in the later stage of prototype, uh, uh, characteristics of each prototype, uh, prototype tone have developed, and the pitch of the B tone was high. But uh, considering the split of voiced stops in Mandarin, uh, the one into two split in Chandin Nu might suggest that the prototype uh, B tone uh, was low. Uh, finally, I would like to suggest that the prototype B tone was derived from uh, final consonant H. Uh, scholars have presented uh, to two hypotheses about final consonant deriving from the uh, deriving the uh, prototype B tone. Uh, for example, Gedoni uh, 1989 argues that B tone uh, was derived from uh, final consonant H. In, contra in contrast, Sagar, uh, 1988, argues it was derived from glottal stop. Uh, concerning prototype voiced stops uh, reflecting as the aspirated sounds in the B tone syllable in Chanting Nun, I suggest that uh, the B tone was derived from H because uh, it causes aspirated sounds much more easily than uh, glottal stop. So I would like to summarize the main fi findings in this presentation. First, in Chandin Nun, the prototype voiced stops uh, split into two consonants, uh, depending on the prototype tones, uh, like this. And second, this one into two split is really important for us to understand the prototype B tone much better. Uh, this phenomenon might show that the pitch height of the B tone was low and uh, derived from H. This is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you for your kind attention.